we describe critical incident as being very grounded, almost hyper real, I'd say. We're talking about issues with a lot of truth and depth. It's not meant to be glossy or too slick. We're meant to really feel the streets of Western Sydney with our police characters, with our young people. That's just something that I loved about the show is how true and how raw they are to just real life situations. It didn't feel like I had to reach too far into my experiences or, or knowledge of Western Sydney or even myself to be able to have access to the tools that I needed to kind of portray Hayden and how I saw him in my mind. We tried to find a cinema language and a look and aesthetic to the show that would do it justice without over glamorizing what isn't the most glamorous story. The reality of policing is it happens any time of day in the broad daylight and at night time that bad things can happen anywhere, anytime, and you don't know. Neil and I really discussed how we were going to bring this story to life through the cinematography and the film language that we wanted to use. We could light, we could create moody, interesting frames, but we wanted to feel like we were with the characters. We wanted an honest approach. In keeping with the scripts, I think we were really looking to create authenticity. And this is reflected, I guess, in our choice of locations, in the casting, everything down to costume design, use of props. Production designer Ros Dernford is able to create worlds and spaces that don't feel like sets. She just elevates everything she touches. Along with Tanya Lambert, our setup DOP, they often looked at street photographers that captured our world and the palette built from there. We had these interesting languages around how we would frame our, our characters and we wanted to have a lot of headroom in the police station. That was sort of lent into feeling slightly like the oppression of the world over the top of him. We did lean into moody, probably less naturalistic lighting in the police station, but we, we wanted to feel like we were in this sort of dark world with him. Do it here. There might be media outside. Then get home, stay home. Do not talk about this. Got it? Western Sydney is an area that just isn't shown on screen that often. We were all familiar with the beaches and the harbour and but you know the biggest part of Sydney is out there and it is buzzing and it's growing so it's really trying to capture the setting with honesty and truth I suppose. 